Windsurf just released an image upload feature today and now you can start uploading a screenshot into the chat and then the chat will use that as a reference about what kind of design or what issue that you're facing. They announced that on Twitter where this person trying to build a website landing page using a napkin drawing. And this is actually a demo that uh, has been shown on many AI models before. This is just something that AI can do, but now it is available in Windsurf. So as you can see, this person just uploading an image and uh, the AI on Windsor trying to figure out what kind of design that is similar to this uh, drawing and eventually it will produce a really good looking landing page website based on that. So I think this is very, very cool and very useful for anyone that wants to get a specific, specific design on their website. Actually, I made this video two days ago where I show how you can upload a screenshot into Windsor. Uh, essentially, it's just a workaround since we don't have an image upload feature yet. So what I'm showing is how you can upload upload a picture to let's say ChatGPT and then using ChatGPT to interpret the image and then we are copying and pasting the interpretation to the Windsor AI and that is basically the workaround and now this video is aged like a male but on the bright side I was correct because this other feature will eventually coming before next year and now just two days after uploading this video we got this new feature so today I'm going to be showing you on how you can use this image upload feature on Windsor and how you can essentially copy be a design from other website or from Figma or from your design and then you can build a really nice e-design interface right using this AI. The first thing that you need to do is you have to upload Windsor. You can go to help and click check for updates and after that if there is a new version available the update will be downloaded and eventually you need to restart the program and once you're done you can start opening a new project or you can continue working on an existing project. In this case I'm going to be starting with a new project. So just to give you a context Previously, I was building this percentage calculator based on the previous screenshot upload method. I was trying to copy this design from a real website and Windsor coming up with this design and this still is actually functional. So I want to see if I can get the same thing using the new image upload feature in Windsor. So let's start a new workspace. I'm going to go ahead to click file, click open folder, and I'm going to create a new folder for this project. Let's say percentage calculator two okay let's select the folder and now i'm going to be opening the cascade window this is where we can interact with the ai models as you can see here there is this new icon this is actually wasn't there before and when you click on it it will open an explorer where you can select an image that you want to use as a reference unfortunately you cannot drag and drop a picture into this area so we have to click on this icon to select an image i'm going to be selecting this image which is the percentage calculator tool that that I have shown you earlier and let's click open. Okay, this is the prompt that I'm going to be using. I wanted to build this percentage calculator tool that runs on the browser and let's hit enter and see what's going to happen. Okay, uh, this is going to take about a minute or so to generate the entire tool. Now uh, we just need to wait for the AI to generate the rest of it. Okay, the calculator app has finished and let's see what it's going to look like and we're going to compare that to the previous calculator, sorry, percentage calculator app that i just created two days before using the previous method the old method let's see okay i think this looks very very similar this is the original design and this is using the previous method where i'm essentially sending the picture to ChatGPT to be interpreted and then uh, we are using the response from ChatGPT into the windsor ai and this is the new method i think they look very similar it's very difficult to decide which one look the best but I think when it comes to the color, this version, which is the version where we are using the upload feature in Windsor, this one looks a lot more similar compared to this first attempt. So yeah, I think all in all, this feature is going to be very, very helpful to get the right design for your project. So this is going to be very helpful for anyone who wants to build an app or a website by taking a screenshot and then using the Windsor AI to design everything. I guess that's it for today. And if you want to know more about how you can program or build something without any coding or technical knowledge then please consider subscribing to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a good day and take care